Hello students. So today in this concept video, I am going to discuss how to write down the Lagrangian for a particle that is moving in a plane. So basically, if a particle is moving in a plane, then its Lagrangian can be written in two forms. Suppose this is a plane here. So I am considering x y plane. This is x axis. If you consider this as x axis, this is y axis. And a particle is moving in the plane. Suppose this is my particle. This is origin. Then how can you write the motion of this particle in this plane? Either in terms of these Cartesian coordinates. So if you consider the coordinates of this particle as x and y, x and y, then what will be the velocity component of this particle? So when this particle will move, x is going to change with time. So component x dot of velocity will be there and if you consider y, so how this particle is going to move, when this particle is going to move, basically this y is going to change with time. So during the motion of this particle, x and y, they are going to change with time. So velocity components will be here, x dot and y dot. So what will be the kinetic energy in this case? This will be equal to 1 by 2 m corresponding to x variable, x generalized coordinate, this will be x dot square, corresponding to this y, there will be corresponding generalized velocity y dot, so this will be x dot square plus y dot square. So what will be the Lagrangian if potential is given, is potential is given as a function of x and y, so I can write in general this is vxy, so Lagrangian in Cartesian coordinate will be t minus v. This is the expression for Lagrangian. Lagrangian equal to kinetic energy minus potential energy. So this will be 1 by 2 m x dot square plus y dot square and minus v of x y. So potential energy it will be a function of x and y. So in this way you can write down the Lagrangian of for a particle moving in a plane. So in Cartesian coordinate, this will be the Lagrangian you are going to use. But suppose in place of this, we use polar coordinates. So in case of polar coordinate, distance of the particle from the center, it is represented by R. So if you connect O with this P, then this distance is R. And the direction in which this R is going to increase, that is called as R cap vector. This is called as R cap vector. This angle, angle with the, this, this position vector that is making some angle with this x axis. So with respect to x axis, this angle is theta. Theta. So what will be the coordinate of, coordinate for this particle P? If you draw the perpendicular, then x coordinate will be for this, x coordinate will be equal to R cos theta r cos theta and for the y coordinate, kitna of y coordinate, y coordinate will be r sin theta, r sin theta. So these, this will be the coordinate. So if you want to write down the uh, motion of this particle in terms of polar coordinate, then we are going to use polar coordinates r and theta. And what will be the correlation between x, y and these polar coordinates x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sin theta. Now can you tell me what will be the direction of theta cap? If you look at this theta, this theta is increasing in this direction. So the direction in which theta is increasing, that will be this direction perpendicular to this r cap vector, this will be theta cap direction. Theta cap direction. Now, now we want to write down the Lagrangian for this particle in polar coordinates. So what is Lagrangian? Lagrangian is 1 by 2 m x dot square plus y dot square. So for this purpose, I need this x dot. So differentiate this with respect to time. So what will be x dot? x dot will be minus r sine theta, sine theta, and this will be theta dot, theta dot plus this plus cos theta will be as it is and this will be r dot multiplied by r dot this will be. 
So do you differentiate it this first differentiate this R so this will be R naught cos theta will be as it is. If you differentiate this cos theta this will be sin theta minus sin theta theta dot. Similarly you can go for y. What will be y dot here? y dot will be again sin theta differentiate this. So this will be cos theta. This will be theta dot and R will be as it is. R will be as it is. Plus plus now keep sin theta as it is and differentiate this r. So this will be r dot. R dot. Now square both of them. Okay, square this. Okay. So x dot is square plus y dot is square. What will be x dot is square plus y dot is square? This will be x dot is square plus y dot is square. Y dot is square. So make the square of this. So this will be r square, r square, sin square theta, theta dot square. So what it will be? You will get r square, sin square theta, and this will be theta dot square. This is the first term. Now consider this term here. First term for this, this will be r square cos square theta, theta dot square. So here I am taking theta dot square common. So this will be plus r square cos square theta and theta dot square will be common. So what I have done here first is square this first term. Square of this plus square of this and what is this term will be sin square theta plus cos square theta that will be 1 and this will be r square theta dot square. Plus second term square this so this will be cos square theta. This will be cos square theta and this will be r dot square. Here square this, this will be sin square theta r dot square. So this will become cos square theta plus sin square theta and this will be r dot square. If you consider the mixed term, that will be minus minus 2 times r sin theta cos theta r dot theta dot and here that same term will be plus. So that term is going to cancel out and this x dot is square plus y dot is square. This will come out to be, this will be r square theta dot is square plus this r dot is square. So if you are using polar coordinates, you can very simply convert this x dot is square plus y dot is square into polar coordinates. So this will be r is square theta dot square plus r dot square. So what will be the Lagrangian in polar coordinates? This will be 1 by 2 m r dot square plus r square theta dot square theta dot square and this will be minus now potential you can write in terms of r and theta. So these are the polar, this is the polar form of the Lagrangian. So when a particle is moving in a plane, you can write down the Lagrangian either in terms of Cartesian coordinates. So this will be the expression. This will be the expression. Or second, you can write Lagrangian in terms of polar coordinates. So in polar coordinates, this will be the expression. So you should remember these expressions for Lagrangian. Now, now here I am going to consider an example for writing the Lagrangian when in polar coordinates I am going to discuss a problem related to this. Here I have written the example. Here a particle is moving in a plane but under the influence of this force. Here this force is given. So this will be f vector equal to minus r cap. This is polar coordinate, radial coordinate, kr cos theta. So if particle is moving in a plane under the influence of this force, force, then how will you find out the Lagrangian equation of motion? You have to find out equation of motion in this case. So how will you find out? Come to this type of problem. So first we learn how to write down Lagrangian equation of motion in polar coordinates and now we are going to solve. We are going to apply this understanding here. Now, here what is given force is given to us. If force is given, generalized force is given to us, then what will be the 
काइनेटिक एनर्जी इन पोलर कोऑर्डिनेट्स काइनेटिक एनर्जी इन पोल फर्स्ट राइट द काइनेटिक एनर्जी इन पोलर कोऑर्डिनेट्स वी हैव जस्ट ड्राइव 1/2m r डॉट स्क्वायर प्लस r स्क्वायर थीटा डॉट स्क्वायर थीटा डॉट स्क्वायर दिस इज काइनेटिक एनर्जी ठीक है एंड इफ जनरलाइज्ड कोऑर्डिनेट्स आर गिवन जनरलाइज्ड फोर्स इज गिवन देन हाउ टू राइट डाउन द इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन basically you can write the lagrange's equation of motion in the form of kinetic energy this is the second form of the lagrange's equation of motion so here there are two generalized coordinates one is r another is theta one is r another is theta so first for theta first i am writing writing lagrange's equation of motion motion for generalized coordinate theta theta what it will be this will be del l by del theta dot and time derivative of this time derivative of this so d by dt in general we write lagrange's equation of motion in terms of l but because here this force is given generalized force expression is given so in place of this lagrangian you are going to use t so this will be del t by del theta dot and time derivative of this minus del t by del theta and this will be equal to the generalized force component corresponding to theta so this will be q and theta q and theta so what is del t by del theta dot this here theta dot is here so what will be del t by del theta dot this will become m r square theta dot theta this is theta dot is square 2 times theta dot 2 will cancel out so this will this first term will become like this d by dt of this second here in the expression of kinetic energy theta is not appearing explicitly so this second term is zero if you look at the expression here only r cap component is given so this q theta component this is going to be zero so d by dt of this term is equal to zero zero so this term m r square theta dot this is a constant constant so this quantity m r square theta dot it is acting as a constant of motion due for this for for the motion of the particle in a plane under the influence of this force f this quantity mr square theta dot this is acting as a constant of motion so this is corresponding to the first lagrange's equation of motion corresponding to theta now write down lagrange's equation of motion corresponding to r corresponding to r another generalized coordinate so what it will be this will be del t by del r dot and d by dt of this minus minus this will be del t by del r and component of generalized force corresponding to r corresponding to r now consider this is r dot so this will be how much this will be m r dot del t by del r dot this will be m r dot time derivative of this d by dt minus this del t by del r so r is here so this will be m into r theta dot is square 2 will cancel out this will be 2r so 2 will cancel out this will be m r theta dot is square and this will be equal to the component corresponding to r so that is given minus kr cos theta so you are going to write minus kr cos theta cos theta so differentiate this this mr double dot so i am writing here this is writing here so this will be mr double dot this minus minus mr theta dot is square and this will become plus kr cos theta and this will be equal to zero this is the equation of motion corresponding to r so basically here in this question 
there are two generalized coordinates one is r and another is theta so there are two generalized coordinate one is r another is theta so first we write lagrange's equation of motion corresponding to theta and we find out constant of motion this is a constant of motion this is constant of motion for this system and second we write down lagrange's equation of motion corresponding to r so this is the equation of motion corresponding to the generalized coordinate r okay so basically here in this concept video we have learned how to write down the lagrange's in polar coordinates and then utilizing that aspect if if the force is given if the expression of the force is given under which particle is moving in a plane under the influence of that how to write down how to find the equation of motion for this system okay we have discussed that thing so basically here you are going to use another form of lagrange's equation of motion this one this is specified form you are going to use thank you